Here we present a series of experiments to demonstrate how arrow stiffness and the button pressure interact and determine arrow behaviour. When the front of the arrow bends towards the bow, it presses into the spring-loaded pressure button. This pushes the tip of the button into the bow. The amount it moves depends on how much the arrow bends and the preload and stiffness of the spring. Here we have four arrows, shot using three pressures. Arrows range from very stiff, stiff, matched, and very weak relative to this particular bow. The matched arrow flies straight out to 70 meters, while the stiff arrows fly several feet to the left and weak ones to the right. The fletched and unfletched arrows land together when they are matched to the bow. These arrows were chosen because they have the same weight. The lengths and point weights are slightly different. They all use the same knocks. All the videos were filmed at 1000 frames per second, so one frame equals one millisecond. As these were slowed down to make it easier to see, there are some duplicate frames due to the video frame weight rate. First up, the medium button stiffness. So, what happened? The arrows don't bend into the bow immediately. First, they slide along the pressure button without exerting enough force to move it for the first 10 centimeters. The arrow only presses into the button for about one millisecond. The weaker the arrow, the more it bends when released by the archer's fingers, and the more it presses into the button. The matched arrow is further from the bow when the knock end passes, though all arrows in this case pass cleanly. If they had fletches, this clearance would be reduced, and both the stiffer and weaker arrows would be more at risk of hitting the bow. Next, the stiff button. The two stiff arrows had less contact time with the button. The weak arrow moves away from the button less than the matched arrow, and the knock end nearly hits the bow. The weak arrow moves away from the button less than the matched arrow, the tail end of the weak arrow nearly hits the bow. This is because the stiffer arrows bend at a higher frequency, and are bending away from the button when the tail end of the arrow passes, while the weak arrow is bending more slowly, and so the knock comes much closer to the button. The bending frequency also depends on the arrow shaft material, total weight, and weight distribution. These arrows were chosen because they had the same total weight and a similar weight distribution, as well as, a, as similar composite materials. Last, the very soft button. The weaker the arrow, the more it bends and the further it presses the button into the bow. The stiff arrows bend back away from the button more quickly and have less contact time, which also happened with the other videos. As the tail end of the arrow is leaving the bow, the arrow with the most clearance, largest distance between the bow and the arrow, is the one that's matched to the bow. The knock of the weak arrow almost hits the button on the way past. This is part of why arrows that are too weak generally preferred over arrows that are too stiff. Thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, questions or suggestions below.